What is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa and today we are going to be talking about curly natural hair. So today we will be doing, I will be showing you how I deep condition my curly hair. So as you can see, my hair is like at its breaking point. Basically it's about four days since I have washed it. Usually I only wash about once or twice a month with shampoo and then the other days I will co-wash or just kind of use a conditioner so you can see my curl pattern has fallen out and it is frizzy and just looking crazy so for this or this deep conditioning treatment I will be using the Maui moisture coconut oil shampoo and the Maui moisture coconut oil conditioner So this is after I shampooed and conditioned in the shower, looking good, just kidding. <laughs> All right, so I usually will use a t-shirt to dry my hair because as hopefully most curly girls know, using a basic towel will make your hair look really frizzy. When I start out with the deep conditioning treatment, I like to part my hair in a couple different sections. So usually I'll part it in four sections just because it's easier to work with because let's be real, my hair is pretty thick and we don't got time with, we don't got time for all that other hair slipping through. So I will usually use these little clips and section out my hair so that all the other hair that I'm not working with will be out of my way. All right, so once we are all split apart and have our sections clearly established, which by the way, they do not have to be perfect, just enough to get out of the way, I will start to apply the deep conditioner. So first, I will be using this Argan Oil Morocco deep conditioning mask. I got it for like a dollar at Walmart. Just wanting to try something else out. We will also be using organic virgin coconut oil and a spray bottle just to kind of keep those curls wet because hopefully as you know you need your hair to be wet to actually apply the deep conditioner so let's get started so i will spray my hair just because it actually got a little dry my hair dries super fast so i have to get it all wet so then the deep conditioner will sit into my hair and do its job All right, so when doing this deep conditioning treatment, you know, you don't have to save it at all. Like, use everything in the bag. The more deep conditioner that you have, the more that your hair will be saturated with, and just, you know, the better your conditioning treatment will be. So I usually, I will conditioner through my hair using my hands and really try to make sure that you get the bottoms your ends because you know that's where most of your damage probably will be and it's just better to keep the ends conditioned you don't need to put anything or a basic I never do I never put any deep conditioner on my scalp you just need it basically for the end So once I completed one section, I just put it up out of the way and continue on with all the other sections. Just raking it through my hair, making sure I'm not getting scalp. All right, so we are just continuing here onto the other side. As you can see, I was not using this conditioner treatment sparingly. I use as much as I can. I used the whole bag and hopefully you did too. Just remember, get those ends, girl. Do not let them go.
So once I complete putting in all the deep conditioner, I will take down the other half again after I do my little dance. All right, good, we're good. <laughs> so after you put the deep conditioner in, I always like to put in my coconut oil. So I do that coconut oil just because I feel with my hair because it does get dry very easily. It kind of just moisturizes and locks in that moisture. And because I'm using this organic coconut oil, it is still hard because it was cold this day in Washington and it started to harden up. Maybe a little soft or even actual as an oil, but if it's not and you actually are using the organic cooking kind, then you may need to rub it together a little bit to kind of, you know, get it soft because you don't want no chunks of coconut oil in your hair. So the same thing, you just wanna rake it through your hair, making sure that you really get those ends because that's where most of our breakage is. And I do actually try to put this closer to the ends just because my hair, again, does get frizzy, especially in the back, in the crown area. So I do try to get a little bit closer to my scalp, but with the conditioning cream, I don't. But again, just get those ends, rake it through. You want to put as much oil as you can into your hair. Again, you're doing a deep conditioning treatment, so no need to be saving any extra conditioning cream. Use it all. So after I finish the half, I put it up again in one of my buns, and then I will continue the same thing on the other side. All right, so after completing all sections with the coconut oil, I like to put my hair in two little buns like this just to keep the hair up and out of my face. I don't like the one cone, the one bun thing just because it makes me look like a cone head when I put on that plastic bag. But I had a little extra cream and I kind of just put it around the edges just because, you know, we don't want to waste that. So after completing that, we put on this beautiful plastic classy bag. And by the way, you can use a shower cap if you actually have one, but just because I have this laying around the house and not that, we're gonna save the planet and recycle. Plus I wasn't planning on seeing anybody today, so you know we can look crazy for a couple minutes. So when doing deep conditioning treatments, I also like to use a nightcap, which you know I should be using more of, but I like to use it when I deep condition my hair because it kind of locks in that heat that escapes naturally from your head makes the treatment work a little bit more. So for this deep conditioning treatment, we are going to only be doing a 30 minute treatment. You can usually do it longer for an hour, all day, 12 hours, as long as you want. But for today's video, we are only going to do it for 30 minutes. So after the 30 minutes is up, I took off the shower cap and this is what my curls look like. So here is what my curls look like after the deep conditioning treatment. So after this, we will go and take a shower with cold water. And this is what my hair looks like after, looking nice and fresh. By the way, a little tip, when you wash out the deep conditioning treatment, use cold water because that will keep the hair cuticle or the hair shaft closed. You don't want the hair cuticle shaft to be open. That's what causes frizz. Now we are using this Shea Moisture Curl and Sour Milk to style our hair. So again, we split our hair into four parts. So you want the style to last. So you just rake it through your hair, use as much as you can, and style your hair. And when I put in this cream, I like to actually kind of scrunch it at the bottom just because it gives my curls a little more of a pop. Since I am still, I guess, considered transitioning my hair from straight to curly, I find that it does help a little bit to, you know, scrunch it up at the bottom so that my curl pattern, you know, comes out a little more. I did straighten my hair recently and I think it really messed up my curl patterns. So I'm kind of bummed about it, but you know, just doing these deep conditioning treatments more often and scrunching my hair when I put creams and gels, I have found that it has helped. So after doing all parts, I like to kind of, you know, just go over it and get all the extra areas like the back, close to the front of my head, the edges everywhere so that, you know, your hair looks good. 
and those curls get popping. Wash out. So here is my final look after my curls have been deep conditioned and styled with just the Shea Master Curl and Smoothing Cream, I believe. So usually I don't diffuse, but just for today's video and because I wash my hair in the morning, I want my hair to be a little dry. So usually if I do diffuse, I will diffuse my hair about halfway through when, until my half my hair is halfway dry. Um, I If you are planning to go out for an event or something, then you can diffuse until your hair is completely dry. But just for today, I diffused my hair until it was about halfway dry. And I diffused on low to medium heat. All right, so after diffusing, basically you just, you know, part your hair, style it, lay your edges, and do whatever you were going to do for the rest of the day. For me, I'm just gonna let my hair kind of air dry, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, stay bold, stay fierce, stay strong, and stay lioness. Thank you for watching my video, and you know, Forgive me if this voiceover is kind of crazy. This is my very first time doing a voiceover for a hair video. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope this helped you in any way. And you know, keep rocking your natural hair. Keep getting those curls, girl. As always, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at fitlionessa. See ya. Bye.